Hey, Speed Demons, let's look at how to turn a photo into a sketch or line drawing 100% PowerPoint without actually having to sketch or draw it. So for example, taking a photo like this, a woman waiting for the subway, and turning it into a sketch, this is a chalk sketch effect. And notice here how I've extended out the background of the photo to create a full screen visual image for my slide background. So this is the original photo. This is that chalk sketch effect is a full screen visual image, which I'll talk about a little bit later in this video. First off though, you have five different sketch effect options that I'll walk you through for automatically turning any photo in PowerPoint into a sketch. And super important, you have some default styling options that can increase or decrease the intensity level depending on how much of a sketch effect or line drawing effect you want for your photos. A lot of people ignore these and I don't want you to do that. First off here, these are the five different options. You have a marker, you have a pencil gray scale, a pencil sketch, a line drawing and a chalk effect. And for these three, these black and white ones, BBB, I'll show you how you can bleed your original photo through to give it some color so you aren't just stuck with a black and white sketch effect if you don't want it. And first off, let me just dive into PowerPoint and show you how this works. So this is my 16 by nine size photo that I've cropped down to create this full screen visual image for my slide background, which is definitely the way you wanna go. And you can check out my other video here on YouTube to see how to automatically do that and see why it sometimes doesn't work. For now, I wanna turn this photo into a pencil grayscale sketch. So I'll simply select the photo, picture tools format tab, artistic effects. And now here for your artistic effects, these will render live, but they can eat up a lot of your machine power. So if you start to hover over something and you don't see the effect immediately, just be a little bit patient, all right? I'm gonna select this pencil grayscale effect. And before I even adjust the intensity, I'm gonna hit Shift F5 so that we can see what we have in full screen. So this is that pencil grayscale effect. This is the original. So it's actually a pretty stark contrast, but here's where you might look at this and say, you know what, I just don't like this effect. And that's where I really want you to quickly explore the artistic effect options. So if you select a photo, picture tools, format tab, artistic effects, besides just picking it here, you have the artistic effects options at the bottom of this dropdown. And this is where you have two different distinct options. So you always have a transparency option from zero to 100. And if I type 100, notice that I kill the entire effect. So the less transparency you have, the more of the effect that you're going to see. So I'm going to put it back down to a zero effect. The second thing you have for each of the different artistic effects is a pencil size pressure or whatever. All right, going down to zero or one, if it lets you, it's going to radically change what the photo looks like or what the effect bleed through is. And in this case, I told you that you can actually bring out some color in these black and white photos. Notice that if I just change my transparency to 25%, I'll hit Shift F5 for presentation mode. You can see I start to bleed in all right, a little bit of the photo, giving it a little bit of color. So this is where I've made it to. This again is the original photo. And here, let me just quickly flip through a number of the options. So this is the marker effect, and you can see the marker effect over here. And I've actually jacked this up to a size of 97. All right, so that's the marker effect. This is that pencil grayscale at a pencil size of eight, which is a little bit different than what we used a second ago. Here's the pencil sketch. Now, if I just flip between those two, you can see the pencil grayscale has a tendency to be a little bit darker than the pencil sketch, although it's a similar type of pattern that's kind of drawn through the picture. This is the line drawing effect, which starts out default at a 50% transparency bleeding through your photo. And this is that chalk sketch effect. Here it is with a zero transparency. And again, if you wanna get a little bit of that color to bleed through, you just change that transparency using those effect options to something like 25% or maybe you go to 50% and you're gonna get a little bit of color bleed through from the original photo. So those are your five different sketching effect options here in PowerPoint that you can explore. And if you wanna learn how to take a photo like this and not only how to add other cool effects like you just learned how to do here, but also how to extend those photos out into full screen visual images for your slide backgrounds, which are great for title slides, divider slides, and content slides, check out the links below this video for a special course I created for extending out non full screen images into full screen slide backgrounds 100% here in PowerPoint. If you're new to my channel and want to keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks to help get you to happy hour, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Or if you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets, shortcuts, or free mini series, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.